Once in a while, a book comes along that just makes you go, whoa. Let's not waste any time in getting to the book that recently did that for me. It's this week's pick. Before I get into the plot of Once Was Lost, let me say a few words about what prompted that whoa. Because I read a lot of books, but very seldom do I say whoa. The whoa factor in Once Was Lost had to do with a combination of elements. Carefully drawn characters, an author who understands how teenagers think, what they feel, how they speak, and an atmosphere that will have your heart beating in your throat for 200 pages straight. Things start out on a sort of philosophical note in this story as Sam, the main character, struggles to process her mother's alcoholism and her past her father's ability to be there for everyone except for his family. But the question Sam was able to hold at arm's length explode into a full crisis of faith when a teenage girl from her church goes missing and almost everyone in her small town becomes a suspect. To be fair, or maybe just picky, I don't think Once Was Lost was a perfect book. The ending left me wishing for either a less tidy or a more well-explained resolution. Nevertheless, Once Was Lost is a compelling, beautifully written story that's definitely going in my pile of young adult classics.